Really stupid design, unbelievably stupid. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It is Monday and by now, well, check this out. I have a pretty big array of stuff at my disposal. My NEMA 17 stepper motors, got a few of these quick connect clamps. Amazing stuff. That's another thing that gets me highly excited. A solenoid valve. And I also finally got myself a power supply for the CNC shield so that I don't need to use my giant one of a power supply anymore. And the topic for today will be the money gun. Let's get it. As you can see, I already got myself a few banknotes. Sadly, these aren't like top-notch quality. Mm, so I, I'm not sure if they will work. But yeah, let's just get right to it. That's what I came up with. And that's the first case iteration, the first design. That's the mounting space. Well, the, the hole for the stepper motor. And that's yet another space in there for a roll. And this roll should spin and propel the notes outwards and these holes out there are for ball bearings so let's start with inserting those there we go let's press them in oh my god tight fit right there two hands should do the trick as always maybe not ah. so now they're in nice let's try to insert the stepper next and by the way that was my first gear that I designed. Took me freaking three hours or something like that. That was insane. But it turned out pretty good. 100% infill, by the way. This is only 10%. And yeah, I'm really, really curious how they will work and sound and like perform. So let's do this. <laughs> that looks like it will be the next problem right there. Well, I got the spacing correct. But other than that... Oh no. Oh god. Uh, well, as you can see, I was forced to make space to punch in a hole. Well, to cut it out, actually, and now I can just slide in. Hell yeah. Not too bad, though. Not too bad. Got myself these little screws from the brackets. You know, these brackets right there. Okay, the screw holes are not that perfect either. This hole is a bit too big, so these get bent a bit. This one did work. This one, well, kind of, but for a first prototype, it's a okay, so let's put on the gear oh no I need to move it out just a bit but that won't be a problem I still have to wait for clamps clamps that I can put on here you know to fix the gear to the motor in a you know somewhat meaningful way but for now well 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 power supply 12 volt 9 volt power supply for the Arduino and yeah let's press this button oh boy This will be crazy. All that's left now is the little gear and obviously an axis and well the roll. Oh my god, I haven't printed it yet. So let me sort that out and I will see you in a bit. Here I have my axis, M8, screw, thread, pretty basic. Hey, and I also had to reprint the small gear to fit on here. And I should be able to just screw it on. Just like that. Nice. Ah. Ah. And now comes the moment of truth. Oh my god. Ah. Yo! Oh my god, this is amazing. I just had to remove this one and insert them at the same time. Damn! Okay, so let's try. Oh no. There is not enough friction whatsoever. Oh no, should I use super glue? I think I should. Let's just try that. Okay, so I just used a tiny drop of super glue. I think I should be able to, you know, remove it again. I actually should, you know, change the code, but let's just try full speed. Whoa. <laughs> the stepper is actually a bit too weak. So if I amp it up, you know, if I give it more power, then it does work. I don't know if that's a good thing, but well, I'm still in the learning process, so who cares if I break stuff? 
Heck yeah. This will probably mangle stuff. Oh no, probably not. Nope. Not powerful enough. <laughs> Screw that. <laughs> yeah, I can't stop it. This is too good. I get my workspace and I reprogrammed it to make only half a spin, half a turn. By the way, this gear has 88 teeth. This one has 22, so it's 1 to 4. Well, 4 to 1 actually. So one turn here will result in four turns here. So half a turn will result in two turns on this side. And this can be confirmed if we take a look at this little thing right here. Nope, we're losing steps. Let's give it more power. Yeah, that's a little bit better. We're still losing steps. That's because this gear isn't as round as I thought it would be. I probably should calibrate my printer. Let's try that again. <laughs> rapid fire mode right there. Let me show you rapid. For every time that I press it, it will show me the steps and it will also show me the notes, well, the bank notes. Now I just need to wait for this roll. There I have my roll and, well, this will be interesting. Oh God. Okay, so first of all, I, dang it, I should thread it up, I guess. Okay, easy as that. I really did not think this through, <laughs> as always. So now I need to insert it. Oh, oh it's hot. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, now I have the roll going. Sweet. And now I need to insert the other gear. Really stupid design, unbelievably stupid. So I just centered the roll and now I just need to drill it through. Oh heck. Oh, it's so problematic. God damn it. Ah, ah, oh, jeez. Well, have a look at that. I somehow made it. Let's power it up again and let's try. Looking good. The next problem is that I need to clean out this slit right here. And the last problem is probably that this is way too smooth. So it probably won't work. Maybe if I press it down. Well, this obviously needs to be rubber. So there we go. All cleaned up. Now it fits through. Heck yeah. On the inside there is a chamfer, just like that. And well, the last thing that I can do for today is to just put it in there and try what actually... Okay, this probably won't do anything, especially if there is no power to the motor. <laughs> nope. So let's try to push it down. Nope, there is no friction whatsoever. Oh god. I made it slower and that's double-sided duct tape. So let's peel off this layer and let's find out what will happen now. Okay, now it's really sticky. What have I done? <laughs> this is not going anywhere. Oh heck. <laughs> it's sticking way too good. <laughs> okay, now I just need to make it a bit less sticky. Okay, check this out. I just had a little breakthrough. God damn it. That was the wrong direction. And I messed it up. Check this out. Oh, hell yeah. It's somewhat working. But the state of the notes is kind of problematic, as I said. If they're all mangled, then it won't work as expected. Need a different approach for that, but... For now. Okay, so let's try it. Come on. Yes. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, boy. Let's give it a little bit of weight up here. 
Oh hell yeah. Let's try that again. As you can see, it's fairly dirty. And that is of course on purpose. Put it against my socks and stuff like that a few times. This should make it unsticky, I suppose. Let's get it on there. My socks are amazing. Check this out, hell yeah. Okay, and here we go. Check this out. Why are you so weak? This stepper motor is weak as hell. So let me turn up the power again. Oh my god, I'm scared. It will probably blow up. Okay, let's make it faster again. Pretty much. Pretty much just that. Hell yeah. Oh my god, that was the wrong button. <laughs> Oh my god, again, what am I doing? Oh yeah, that was a faulty banknote. That's a good one. That's a good one, that's a good one. Look at this, this is terrible. You actually need to press it down right here. Yeah, that's, that's the problem. It will still push two out of there. I thought if I would make the slit like one tenth of a millimeter, it would reduce that, but well, I think that's just insane because the, the notes aren't, simply aren't that precise, especially when they're mangled. So I definitely need to rework everything, rethink it from the ground up. Okay, now, well, let's go faster, let's go. <laughs> oh my God. This is so funny. Okay, let's increase the number of steps. Yes! Oh my god, it just it flew out. Oh my god, that was amazing. The slit is just way too small. Well, let's go full speed and then call it a block. This is tiring me out as hell. <laughs> yes! Let's go! Freaking banknotes are not precise whatsoever. Ah! Uh, oh my god. <laughs> yeah, it's getting there. It's, it's getting there. <laughs> oh my god. It's funny though. It is funny. I wish they would fly out like crazy. Screw that. Let's go full power. Oh my god, it will probably explode. Oh, this one came out really good. Last experiment for today. Let's make it rain! <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, so I think I made it clear, I hammered home the point that this is a flawed design. It was also an insane amount of work to get this going. Ah, jeez. But well, that was definitely another step in the right direction. Now I'm able to design gears. Yeah, but that's it. <laughs> what a project, oh my god. It's already midnight, this took me easily six hours. In my next vlog, I will get to the solenoid valve. This will be another, ooh, this will be. This will be good. Yeah, I need to redesign this thing. This will get continued, I don't know when, someday, I guess. But that's definitely enough progress for today. Smash the like button the way this machine smashed pretty much all my banknotes. Yeah, rip. <laughs> Bang the bell like crap. Check the recent news on chrisviral.com. And yeah, that's it for today. I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>